apareceu aqui na minha timeline, achei uma ideia top, então já vamos ver primeira vez e reagir para vocês. Será que é possível mesmo transformar isso? Esse instrumento tão, ó, tão fofinho. Não só porque é uma criança tocando, mas é um instrumento ali dessa onda havaiana e tal, o ukulele em heavy metal. Eu tô curioso, bora conferir. Aqui, ele vai pegar um baixo ukulele, né? E vai transformar em heavy. I'm gonna make a full metal track using Caramba. only this ukulele bass. Ah, I'm angry today. Caramba. I listen to these Caramba. metal bands on Spotify and they all have the same instruments, you know? Drums, bass, singer, seven string short scale piccolo bass. It's time to mix things up and that's why I'm gonna make the first ever metal track where every single sound you hear is made on this weird instrument. So naturally, the first thing we have to do is turn this ukulele bass into a drum kit. I already know how to make kick and snare sounds on this thing. Oh. But this time I'm gonna take things to a whole new level by adding hi-hat and cymbals as well. So for the closed hi-hat, I really need to achieve that no, that type of sound. And when you think about it, when you're hitting a hi-hat, you're hitting wood on metal. We've got wood here, so maybe hitting it with metal will create a similar type of sound. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's just the close hi hat, but if you think. Não sei se vocês já viram ele, mas ele ele já veio até até aqui no Brasil, já, já fez várias batalhas aí com Devil Fire Four, provavelmente um dos YouTubers de, de baixo mais é, com mais seguidores que tem, né? Ele muito muito criativo. Talentoso. Think about a drum beat. There's often that kind of. That is the open hi hat. The open hi hat is a longer and more sustained sound, so I'm just going to brush the surface of the bass. Okay. Oh. So the only thing we need now are toms, and this is going to be interesting. Toms are much lower in pitch and sound quite boomy, so let's see what I can do. It's okay, but I think I'm gonna have to pitch shift it to get it sound more like a tom. All right, so I've made the full drum kit, and here's a beat that I made. And now for the easy part, which is actually playing the bass the way that it's supposed to be played. So now that we have drums and bass, I want to add some high synth stuff. This instrument doesn't have much sustain, so the obvious way to make a synth pad is just to reverse time. But I also want some of those short and high arpeggiated synth things. Top, top. I can pitch shift that around into arpeggios. Caraca, man, olha isso, so we've got drums, bass, and synth. All that we need now is some guitar. I'm gonna do some more pitch shifting and see if I can get this thing to sound like a lead guitar. Nossa. All right, it looks like we've got all the instruments now. It's time to turn it into a song.
pris le conseil de Pazé Diab. que ele não ia decepcionar, realmente nossa, ficou pesado, né você viu como que cada elemento ele, ele pegou, usou o pitch shifter e tal transformou numa música e tanto, mano, sonzeira realmente tá de parabéns, pra mim nota 9, porque eu fiquei bem surpreso e aí pra vocês, tell me deixa aqui nos comentários e até a próxima